so in today's class we will solve some more questions okay so azan we will solve uh, this question okay, okay. Uh, this is a question of ncert from exercise uh, 1.2 here we have to find the hcf okay. given that hcf is 9 and we have to find the lcm okay so i am solving this question we have a formula a into b lcm of Yes, sir. A B multiplied by H C F of A. So uh, I am considering this A and this considering as B. So A is three zero six and B is six fifty seven. And I have to find the L C M and S C F is given as nine. Okay. So this will be three zero six into six fifty seven divided by. Again, please solve this and tell me the answer. So sir, we can uh, cut nine and six fifty seven. Mm -hmm. Seventy three. Hmm. Like I can cut this thirty four, and we will multiply this. And we, what is the answer? Please tell me. Okay, sir. Sir, it will be to uh, twenty two thousand three hundred thirty eight. Mm. You are right. So this is the required answer, required answer. Okay. So this is very easy question. You can solve it easily. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Man, why are you late today? Sir, I thought today is in Saudi Arabia it is weekend, so I thought today no class. In Saudi Arabia today is weekend. Yes, sir. Sir, Friday and Saturday is holiday in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So this is the question. This is a question of NCRT again, and this is a good question, I will say. And I have told you as much as much as question we will solve in math, so we will good in math. Okay, so this is the question. So they are saying check whether six to the power n. This is six. Give me just one minute. I am just coming. Okay. So they are saying check whether six to the power n uh, can end with the digit zero for any natural number n. So n is a natural number. So n is a natural number means n can be one, two, three, four, five, six. I can take n equal to one, two, three, four, and so, so the meaning of this question is that ends with digit zero, whether it will ends with digit zero, like you can say, 
put the value of one n equal to one, you will get six. Means this is ending with digit six. Yes, sir. Put the value to this will be thirty six. Means this is and again ending with the digit six. Yes. Six to the power three, and this will be. Two one six. Yes. Means they are saying the end digit will be zero, we or not. Can end with the digit zero or not? If we are putting the values again and again. Okay. So we cannot do this thing again and again. Yes. Okay. This is not possible. So we have to find a way how to solve this. So let's see. Uh, if a number ends with digit, if a number ends with uh, uh, zero, okay. if a number ends with zero, like here is ten. This is ending with zero. Yes, sir. This is hundred, ending with zero. This is five to Zero ending with zero. Yes. So if a number ends with zero, means it contains at least one pair of two and five in its factor. Yes. You can check. You can check this. This is ten. Yes. This is five. So here you can see ten contains two and five. A pair of two and five. Means two and five equal to ten, and that's why the end digit becomes zero. In hundred, if you factorize hundred, so you can write hundred as two square into five square. Means there are two pair of two and five. You can write this like two and five into two and five. Means hundred having two pairs of two and five. This is one pair of two and five. This is one pair of two and five. Means hundred ends with two zero. Yes, sir. And five check for five twenty. This will be. So this will become. These are just the example. Two cube into five means how many pairs of two and five it contains? Only one pair, na? Yes. Sir. We will take one two from here and one five from here. Means this number is contain. This number contains one pair of two and five, so it is ending with one zero. Okay. This is ending with. So it means that you can say you can write here a note. If a number. Ends with zero as its last last digit. Either you can say if a number ends with zero, don't need to write this.
if a number ends with zero, then the factors of this number contains a pair of Two and five, a pair of two and five. In the same way, I I can say if a number ends with two zeros, if a number ends with two zeros, like we have seen in case of hundred, then. Factor of this number contains two square into five square, or you can say a pair of a two pair of two and five. Okay. Okay, sir. So. Two into five should be two into five. This is two into five. So. If a number is ending with three zeros, means it contains um, means it contains two cube contains five cube means three means three pair of two and five. Yes. So now we can solve this question. If this number six to the power n. If six to the power n contains a pair of two and five or two into five in its factor, then only. It will end <clears throat> with zero. Is it true now? We yes. have seen here. We have seen here. So now, what should you do? You should factorize six. Okay. We can factor the six. So I can write six. Two into six to the power n. I can write two into three, six. This is six n to the power n. So, uh, Azan, can this six to the power can uh, contain two into five? No, sir. It cannot contain. You can take any value of n. It will never contain con contain two into five. Means this number. Means we can say that six to the power n cannot end, end with zero. zero because because the factor of this uh, you can say because it does not. Contain two into five in its factor, and this is one question. You can you can solve millions of questions. Like I am saying, five to the power n can end with zero or not? Yes, sir. How 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 can it be end with zero? Sir, we so, should five to the this, power. Five to the power n. You will factor five like this. Is this number contains two into five? No. No. Uh, if I am saying, uh, if if I am saying twelve uh, to the power n. So first you should factorize this number. Okay. Will this number 
एंड्स विद जीरो और नॉट नो सर ओके वेरी गुड एटीन टू दावर एन नो सर कैन यू सॉल्व नाउ दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यस सर तो वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू सिक्स टू दी पावर एन वेदर दिस विल एंड विथ डिजिट जीरो और नॉट प्लीज टेल मी नो सर ओके गुड वाई नो बिकॉज वी कैन राइट दिस एज Five square into three into two. Now yes. you can see this contains five into two, a pair of five into two. You can see here, na? Yes, sir. You can write this five into two and five into three. You can write this number like this. Means this number contains a five into two. Means this number. Ends with zero. Yes. Ends with you. So so in this way you can check. Have you understood, Azan? Yes, sir. Please note it down. Are you getting my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Please ask me if you want to scroll down. Okay, sir. noted yes sir scroll down yes you can ask me also
and these these things are very important yes these are this is the question of uh, exercise of ncert Arun, should I scroll down? <clears throat> Arun, completed. Azan, hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Completed now. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, good. So, see this question. So they are saying. Uh, Explain why seven into eleven into thirteen plus thirteen and seven into six and this are composite numbers. I have told you the composite number. What are what are composite numbers? Mm. Composite numbers having factor other than 1 and the number itself having factors other than 1 and the number itself you can see here These are composite numbers. These are co-primes, and here is these are co composite number, na? Yes. A number have factors other other than one and number itself, or you can say a number other than prime number. So then you should remember the what are composite numbers, what are prime numbers, what are co-prime numbers. Okay, sir. Like ten is composite or not? Yes, sir. Because it contains factors other than one and ten. Yes. It it have two factors, two and five. One and ten. Uh, Sub so twenty-five is a composite because it have five, one, and twenty-five as factor. Yes. Okay. So now let's see. This number eleven into thirteen plus thirteen. This is a number. Okay. After multiplication and addition, we will get a number. Means this is a number. This is a number. So we have to check whether this number is composite and composite or not. So what is common here? From this, 
and this. What is common? Sir, it is. Um... See, what is common in these two numbers? Sir, they are, uh, or they are all co prime. No, I am not talking about the co prime and all that. Uh, Actually, this is what is common here. You can take common from like I am writing 5 plus 5 into 6. So, this is the number. Na? So I can take 5 common here from here. Na? Yes. From sir. this and this. I can take 5 common. Then what will, re what will remain here? 1. Okay. If we take common. If we take common. What are you doing today? If we take a number common means we are dividing this number with that number. So divide this and this. 5 is common. This will become 1. Okay. And this, this, this will become 6. So now what is common here? Please tell me. Common, common. 13. Yahan pe ek jaise number aapko kaun se dikh rahe hai? 13 hai na yahan pe? Haan, dekho, ye 13 yahan hai aur ye 13 yahan pe. 13 ko aap jab common yahan se lenge, thik hai? To yahan 13 yahan se chala jayega, wo khatam ho gaya. Jab koji chiz chala, uh, sorry. Jab 13 yahan se chala gaya, to yahan pe sirf 1 bachega. Thik hai? So, I can write this 7 into 11 okay. and 1 is nothing when in multiplication and what will remain here? 1. 1. Good. So now Azan, let's see. This number, this number, I can write this number as this into 88. I can write this. Sir, 78. Oh, yeah. 78? Yes. Means you are in the class. 13 into 78. So, we have to tell whether this is co-prime or not. So, sorry, whether this is composite or not. So, 13 is a factor of this? Yes, sir. 78 is a factor of this? Yes. What is the meaning of factor? Meaning of factor is that that number which divides the number completely. So, 13 will divide this completely means 78 will divide completely. Yes, sir. And when we will multiply this, we will get some number also? Yes. And that number also can divide this number? Yes. And 1 can also divide this number? Means it have the factors other than 1 and the number itself. Means yes. you can write here, this is composite number. This, this number, the given number is composite number. Okay. You can write in your own language or you can write like this. <clears throat> 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 is composite because it have factors other than one and number itself. So, in the same way, can I calculate for this? Yes, sir. So, now let's see here. 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5. So, now what will be common? From here and here. What is common? 5. 
very good. So here will be seven into six into four into three into two. No need to write one, and this will be plus one. Will this number be composite or not? Means here you can you can only check. You can you can see five is a factor of this number. This whole number. Five is a factor, no? Yes, sir. Like when you multiply five and this thing, you will get a number, and you will divide that number with five. That number will be divided completely by five. Here, from here we can see that, and on the basis of that, we can say this number is also composite because it have a factors. It have factors other than one and number itself. So this is also composite number. This number is also a composite. You can see another. Have you understood? Yes, sir. There is very inter one more question, and this is very interesting question. Noted. Yes, sir. This question. There is a circular path around the sports field. Means there is a circular path. Okay. There is a circular path around the sport field. Sonia takes eighteen minute to drive one round of the field. Suppose there is uh, Sonia and Sonia driving something like you can say car in 18 minutes to complete a whole circle. Okay. Okay. Here is Sonia. S yes. and he is driving a car and completes a round, a round, a single round in 18 minutes. And There is one more person, Ravi, takes twelve minutes for the same. Means Ravi takes twelve minutes for making a round. Suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time. So they are saying they have Ravi is also started from here, and Sonia is also started from here. Their car, okay, and at the same time, and go in the same direction, and they are going in the same direction. Like you can say, they are going in this direction, or you can uh, assume this direction. They are going in same direction. So I can say, Sonia completes one round. Takes eighteen minutes to complete one round. Okay, eighteen minutes per round. And Ravi, twelve minutes per round. Sonia, who is, who eighteen minutes takes to complete one round. और रवि को 12 मिनट लगते हैं ठीक है एक राउंड कंप्लीट करने में जैसे कि आप हो और आपका एक फ्रेंड है ठीक है आप दोनों कार तो शायद नहीं चला पाओगे लेकिन साइकिल आप चला रहे हो ठीक है तो आप साइकिल से एक सर्कल पे मूव कर रहे हो समझ में आ रहा है ना आपके हिंदी में अजान यस हां ये अच्छा क्वेश्चन दिस इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन दैट्स व्हाई आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग 
सो यू बोथ आर ऑन द साइकिल एंड राउंडिंग अ सर्कल राउंड राउंडिंग अ सर्कुलर पाथ एंड सपोज योर स्पीड इज दिस एंड योर फ्रेंड स्पीड इज दिस यू कैन इमेजिन द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस i am telling how to how to solve how to how to imagine okay so, so sonia 18 minutes per round and ravi takes 12 minutes per round and they have started from the same point and they are moving in the same direction and they are asking after how many minutes they will meet again at the starting point okay they are saying after how many minutes sonia and ravi will meet at this point at the starting point this is the starting point ab yahan pe thodi si mushkil ho gayi we are in trouble now how we will solve they are both are running with different speeds 18 minutes per round and ravi is 12 minutes per round and they are saying calculate the calculate when they will meet again how we will solve this this is a problem and i can solve this problem in one second 18 into 12. Take the LCM. Answer is 36. My work is over. But I am. I I will not do this. We have to understand the concept behind the question. So now, what we have to do means, if they are meeting at this point again and again, means they have to complete. uh complete the round okay yes. means sonia completed some round and uh, ravi completed some round and after completing some round they will meet let i am supposing let sonia complete x rounds and after x x so sonia completes x round and after x round sonia will meet ravi you can write here you can write here. we have less time so time taken by sonia time taken by sonia will be t for time time taken by sonia will be one round is completed in 18 minutes so x round will be completed in 18x minutes yes unitary method and <clears throat> let ravi completes by round means after by round ravi meets sonia so time taken by the ravi will be 12x 12 by yes for completing one round for completing one round ravi takes 12 minutes for completing 12 round ravi takes time 12 into y minutes so till these both the times will be equal these both the times will be equal means if you are meeting someone suppose you are meeting if you want to meet uh, with your friend there is a meeting of you with your friend at 5 pm okay so means you and your friends must be at some position where you are meeting at the 5 pm am i correct or not yes if you want to meet someone you have 
द सेम टाइम ना यू बोथ हैव द सेम टाइम मीन सो मीन्स दिस दिस दीज टाइम्स आर इक्वल टू एटीन एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाय एंड वॉट इज दिस नाउ हेयर बी हेयर इज अक्स इफ आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग एट x with 18 we will get we will get a number after multiplying y with 12 we will get a number so now what we are doing this is 18x and this is 12x we will get a number which is equal so what we are doing this is y actually this is y what we are doing actually this is the multiple this will become multiple yes and this this number the number will that number will come here here will be a common multiple of 18 and 12 will be a common multiple of 18 and 12 and they are saying that after how many minutes they will meet again means after first time when they will meet at the uh, second time means we have to take lowest common multiple that's why we will take lcm of 18 and 12 and we will get the answer 36 so you can say after 36 minutes they will meet again that why we are taking the lcm so azan have you completed or do you want to note it down yes. done yes sir have you have you noted yes sir till here na yes okay azan so uh, please revise your notes and uh, now you can leave the meeting thank you okay